1984, Anna Fyodorova, an epidemiologist, experiences a tragic incident when a vaccine testing goes wrong, resulting in the loss of her research associate. Overwhelmed by guilt, Anna considers shutting down the project, but Colonel Yuri Morozov persuades her otherwise. He emphasizes that the soldiers in Africa need her, and abandoning the project would render her friend's death futile. Months later, Anna is celebrating New Year's Eve with family and friends when Morozov interrupts the dinner with a phone call. He urgently needs Anna for a special mission as there has been an incident at the Kola Super Deep Borehole. The station has been closed and the research head has been accused of hiding data on an unknown disease. Anna is essential to investigating the situation and Morozov assures her that she will receive full credit for her discoveries and the position of head of the Military Biological Defense Institute. Despite her reservations, Anna agrees to join the mission, hoping to redeem herself for the earlier tragedy. Anna Fyodorova, together with Colonel Yuri Morozov, Major Sergei Mikhev, and Igorov, arrive at the Kola Superdeep Borehole Station to investigate an incident. However, they encounter a problem when a scientist, who had escaped from the station, detonates a grenade upon reaching the helicopter. Despite this, the group is unharmed and proceeds with the investigation. Anna immediately checks the scientist's body for a sample, but it turns to dust upon being placed in a test tube. Additionally, she notices a strange red glow on the body. A guard explains that the scientist went insane upon reaching the surface and was so strong enough to overpower three soldiers. The rest of the station's staff is being evacuated, so Anna takes samples from them before they leave. One of the men claims that everyone is dead down in the station and that the disease is a lie, urging Anna to leave. As a result, Anna believes that there may be more to the situation than just a disease. Together with Morozov and the soldiers, Anna make their way into the station with head scientist Pyotr Kuznetsov and Dr. Dmitry Grigoriev. Anna tries to get information about the mysterious infection, but Grigoriev only agrees to help them get their sample and evacuate the survivors. She questions why the survivors were locked up, but Grigoriev doesn't answer. They board the elevator, and Grigoriev enters the access code with caution, because getting it wrong three times makes the elevator crash as a security measure. However, when they reach their floor, the brakes fail, and Grigoriev suddenly puts on an oxygen mask and depressurizes the elevator, causing everyone to lose consciousness. When Anna and the others wake up, Grigoriev has already disappeared with the elevator key. It seems the group have arrived at the resort area of the facility where staff members typically reside. The main research level is located below this area, and there is a second elevator that can take them there, but it requires a key that they do not possess. They find two staff members remaining, Engineer Nikolai and Dr. Kira Vitalievna, who were intentionally left behind during the evacuation. Anna takes samples from both Nikolai and Kira to examine under a microscope and ensure they are not infected with the disease. It becomes clear that Grigoriev, who orchestrated their current situation, deliberately left them in this clean area. This means they must seek out another source for the virus. Suddenly, Anna confronts Grigoriev, who urges her to prioritize the safety of the team and return to the surface through the shafts. However, Anna calls the soldiers to capture him, but he escapes using the elevator. The team decides to send a group of soldiers led by Igorov to explore the shaft, which Grigoriev had sealed up. The soldiers prepare themselves for the extreme heat of the lower levels and attempt to force open the doors. Suddenly the doors open on their own revealing lab assistant Olga Krylova, who appears to be ill. The soldiers rescue her and bring her to the lab, then proceed down the shaft. Anna begins Olga's checkup by asking her some questions, but Olga cannot recall anything that happened in the lower level. Additionally, Olga has a fever but she claims to be cold. When Anna removes Olga's gown, she discovers mold-like growths on her back, which do not cause any pain when Anna takes a sample. Meanwhile, the soldiers report finding some form of life in the lower level. After examining the sample under the microscope, Anna identifies the mold as a cellular parasite that is highly virulent and unknown. This discovery prompts Morozov to cancel the operation and return. However, Nikolai needs time to work on the elevator system to bring them back to the surface. While waiting for Nikolai's repairs, Sergei attempts to contact his team, but receives no response. It appears that his team is in danger due to an unknown threat. Through the speakers, Grigoriev's voice interrupts the group as they try to escape through the shafts, informing them that he no longer has a choice, and then he triggers a bomb that seals them inside the facility. Olga's body begins to glow, and she loses control, shattering the glass and attacking Kira. Nikolai discovers that the pressure pump has been damaged, and the facility will collapse in an hour. He suggests leaving through the shafts, but Sergei wants to rescue the soldiers trapped in the lower levels. Morozov deems it too risky, and agrees with Nikolai, and they all decide to leave through the shafts. 
Anna and Sergei head to the lab to rescue Olga, but they encounter a horrifying sight. The lab is covered in mold, and Olga is partially melted to the ground. Morozov orders Anna to take samples despite the contamination risk, but Olga releases a cloud of spores forcing Sergei to run away. Anna puts on a mask to avoid inhaling the spores and finds Kira, who has been infected and mutated like Olga. Unfortunately, Kira suddenly dies. Anna attempts to leave the room, but experiences another guilt-associated hallucination, which results in her finding a fire extinguisher. Then she uses it to clean the air around her and prevent the mold from spreading before asking Nikolai to disinfect her using the same extinguisher. Later, Anna checks on Sergei only to realize that it is too late, and he is already infected and has lost his sight. Upon sharing her discovery about Kira with everyone, Pyotr explains that the mold is not supernatural, but rather it's like a fungus that takes over an ant and makes it return to its nest to release its spores and infect others. In a bid to share her discovery, Anna asks Morozov to speak in private. During their discussion, she tells him that the mold dies when exposed to cold and has been using human bodies to survive in the upper area's permafrost. Anna wants to stay with Sergei to search for the remaining survivors while Morozov heads back to the surface to call for a rescue team. However, this option is not viable since the facility will shut down in five hours and there is no hope of rescue. The group led by Morozov prepares to leave, but they receive a message from Igorov instructing them not to open the door. After a heated debate, Pyotr reminds reminds them that this might be their only chance at survival, so they decide to open the door anyway. They send three soldiers down the shaft to investigate, but only one returns, missing an arm. The group quickly closes the door, but the entity in the shaft starts breaking the door to get out. The group runs towards the back of the area where they find the elevator that has just arrived. Nikolai works on dropping the elevator hoping the emergency brakes will hold. However, Sergei's body begins to glow, indicating that he has little time left. He decides to stay behind with his men to try to stop the entity. The creature finally breaks down the doors, and the group has to leave quickly. Survivors get into the elevator and start a dangerous descent. The pressure in the elevator makes it difficult for Nikolai to reach the brakes, so Anna has to do it herself. Fortunately, she manages to pull the lever just in time, and the elevator lands safely on the lowest level, which is much colder than they expected. All of the rooms in the area have a thick layer of frost. They listen to a recording made by a scientist who informs them that the mold they are dealing with is vulnerable to the cold, and that it has likely remained underground for centuries due to the ice age. However, this mold has begun to adapt and evolve. It has already begun to melt bodies together in order to generate heat and energy. It explains why the group is unable to find any survivors. They are all melted together in a large mass of mold that has died of the cold. To obtain the elevator key from Grigoriev, Morozov decides to go inside where the temperature exceeds 200 degrees. He puts on the last suit available and heads out. While the group waits anxiously for him to return, Anna urges Nikolai and Pyotr not to speak of the mold they encountered, because it could lure others to the area, endangering humanity. Nikolai agrees, but Pyotr is hesitant, since he had hoped that this discovery would make him famous. When Morozov doesn't return on time, Anna decides to venture into the high temperature zone without any protective gear relying on the fact that the human body can survive for a few minutes in such conditions. As blisters start appearing on her body, Anna discovers Morozov dead on the floor and realizes that Grigoriev has damaged his suit. Anna finds the elevator key in Morozov's hand and flees back inside where Nikolai tries to help her. Suddenly, Pyotr shoots Nikolai in the leg, demanding the elevator key so he can go out and gain fame for himself. They give him the key, and Pyotr forces both of them into the second elevator at gunpoint. When they return to the resort level, Pyotr tries to prevent Anna from entering the first elevator, so he keeps her behind him. Suddenly, at the elevator corridor, Pyotr is attacked and killed by an entity made of infected staff members melted into one organism. Anna runs to the mess hall but is chased by the creature. She enters the freezer, pours cold water on her body to lower her temperature, and crawls under the creature to retrieve the elevator key. After locking the doors, Anna finds Nikolai and escapes with him. However, the creature breaks through the wall and pursues them. They reach the elevator just in time, closing the doors as the creature tries to grab them. As the elevator ascends, they notice Sergei melting into the floor and begging for help as he coughs out spores. Anna and Nikolai find themselves in a life-threatening situation. Anna stops the elevator because she doesn't want to take the mold outside, but Nikolai wants to live, so he reactivates it again. As a result, they begin fighting over control of the elevator. When Nikolai is about to kill Anna, Sergei intervenes and uses his exposed bone to kill Nikolai first, saving Anna's life. In gratitude, Anna reveals that she's from Yugoslavia and kisses Sergei before getting to work on the elevator. However, Anna is also infected, and her body has started to glow, causing her immense pain. Anna remembers that if she enters the wrong code three times, the elevator will crash. The first two attempts to enter the code go slowly but smoothly. Anna struggles with the third and final code, as the elevator has already reached the surface, and the rescue team is pulling her out of the elevator. 
she manages to punch the last numbers just as the elevator begins its self-destruct sequence and falls down. Surrounded by soldiers, Anna seizes an opportunity to steal a grenade from them and gets off the vehicle. She approaches a group of scientists and detonates a grenade, starting the story from the same episode. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.